Now, my number seven one, this is one that's a been a late riser. He only came to my attention about end of January, uh, early February. He comes out of Kentucky, and this is my Roquan Smith comparison. This is a guy who is not as technically sound as Roquan Smith, but he has a lot of the same attributes that he has, and that's Jameen Davis out of Kentucky. Now, Jameen Davis, he has the frame and length to add multiple pounds to his frame without having any hindering on his athletic ability. He offers good coverage inside, and he's got a nose for the ball and coverage. And the Broncos could use that, especially from the linebacker position. Now, he doesn't bring much power into contact, which can lead to a little bit of missed tackles, but he's going to slow them down to where a stronger tackler or more help is going to get there. And this is a guy, like I was talking about with Tony Fields, Jameen Davis, he has a way he can fit into the Broncos defense under Vic Fangio. Again, he's my. this is my pro-style comparison with Roquan Smith. They bring a lot of the same tools and traits. Davis, just not as refined. So Fangio, he knows how to fit him in there. And Fangio is one of the best coaches in the NFL when it comes to coaching up linebackers. We saw what he was able to do with Chris Borland, Patrick Willis, Roquan Smith, and multiple others throughout his career. That Jameen Davis, with how raw of a player he is, with his athletic upside that he has, with his frame and length, Vic Fangio can definitely turn him into something special. But it's just it's going to take a little bit of time, and that's going to be a question going forward. Again, with all these linebackers, the whole – coaching staff being up in the year after this year it's very questionable because we just don't know if they're willing to take a risk on a guy that's going to take multiple years of development when they need to find guys who can contribute now to potentially save their jobs 